This is one of multiple videos showing you how to use the Osteonado appliance in GNS3 to capture traffic off the wire and then generate the same traffic using Osteonado. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to capture CDP messages and specifically Cisco IP phone CDP messages using Osteonado and then inject those CDP messages into a GNS3 network. In this example, I've got Osteonado connected via Ethernet Zero to a cloud. Ethernet Zero is the management interface on the Osteonado appliance. I'm using Ethernet 2 in the cloud. This cloud is running on the GNS3 VM. And what I've done on the GNS3 VM is create a third adapter, which is connected to my Ethernet interface of my computer. In this example, I'm using a Mac and VMware Fusion, and I've bridged the third adapter in VMware Fusion to my local Ethernet interface. So this is the IP address of my Mac. And that's what Osteonado is connected to. So on the Osteonado drone, if I type ifconfig eth0, I've been given an IP address in the same subnet. And I can ping google.com as an example. In addition, I can capture frames off the wire using Wireshark. And in this example, I've captured a CDP message from a Cisco IP phone. It's a Cisco 7970 IP phone. And you can see some information about the appliance, including the device ID, IP address assigned to the phone through DHCP, how it's connected to the network, its capabilities, software version, and other information about the phone. It's running a skinny version of firmware. And what I'm gonna do is export that packet as CDP phone. I'm only gonna export the selected packet and the type needs to be PCAP. So I'm gonna select PCAP and press enter to save the file. So that's now exported. And I'm now gonna run Osteonado. So in Osteonado, I'm gonna select Ethernet 1. That's the interface connected to switch 1. At the moment, switch 1 doesn't see any CDP neighbors. On Ethernet 1, I'm gonna open a stream. And in this case, it's gonna be a PCAP stream. We're going to open the CDP phone PCAP file and use intelligent import. So that file is now imported. I'll double click on the cog to view the details. As an example, on the packet view, we can see the destination and source MAC addresses. We can see 802.3, LLC, we can see snap information, and we can see a hex dump. So what I'll do here is generate 100 packets at one packet per second. Under protocol data, we can see the destination MAC address, source MAC address, and other information about the packet. Under the protocol data, we can see in the output that we've got a Cisco IP phone 7970. Click OK. Click Apply. We're gonna use port 00, which is Ethernet 1, and click Start. Frames are now being generated by Osteonado. Back on the switch, we can see a duplex mismatch. So I'll stop Osteonado generating frames. Notice we're getting duplex mismatch discovered on gigabit 00, not full duplex with a IP phone. Notice Celsius Ethernet phone. 
which says it's full duplex. So show CDP neighbor. We can see an IP phone on gigabit 00 of the switch. Show CDP neighbor detail. You can see the IP address of the phone. You can see that it's a 7970. We can see information such as power management. We can even see that no PC is connected to the second port of the phone. So what we did is capture CDP off a real network or physical network. And then we used Osteonado to generate the frames in GNS3. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.